Alright guys, I'm still working on this stupid headliner. Uh, another tip. Canola oil. Just like putting a windshield gasket on. I didn't think about it until I was probably a quarter of the way done with this thing. But once I put some oil on the gasket, in between the gasket and the, the roof, the metal, it started sliding a lot easier. Oh, I, I say a lot easier. Nothing easy about doing this. It's a complete and total pain. I still use the paint sticks to uh, open that thing up. And it's really helping. And then the canola oil. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, you can see that. Let me try an inch or so for you here. So you gotta open this thing up. And I made this headliner myself. I don't know what the dimensions of a factory headliner are. I just know I made it small enough that I thought I could get a gasket around it. So I may be bringing a lot of this on myself, but I don't think so. I think this is the reason <clears throat> You see so many of these trucks without headliners. It's because of this gasket. And to start off, I got one side of the gasket on the driver's side done. <clears throat> That's not going in there. I got one side gasket done, driver's side I got done, and uh, there it goes. And then, golly, that's not sliding in there at all. Right there. That sucker's just not going. I used a board. To hold the headliner up in place, I mounted it. I just put it between the ceiling and the seat with a board to keep the headliner in place. And I had to fight and fight and fight. Man, there's nothing fun about it, I can assure you of that. Without that canola oil, this thing won't slide at all. But like I said, not having a factory size headliner and not being able to find the dimensions of one anywhere. <clears throat> I may be just beating my brains out for no reason. But I know what I wanted. And whenever there's something that I want, then I usually like to make it. The oil and the black white cloth. That's still not in there. So you see how hard it is. If you got any tips, let me know, man. Because this is killer. This is absolutely insane. You see the gap right there. That's the rest of it. And then right there, it's a gap. You got to roll that tube up in there, man. Until I can get it rolled up in there, it's not seated right. So, there's no easy way to do it, except just to keep working with it. <sighs> Tips would have been helpful before I started, but I'll still take any ideas. <laughs>